Mayor Kirk. Welcome, all of you. You're not feeling well, are you? I'm feeling fine. Let's drop the subject. I want some information from you, FaZe. Why? How are you feeling? Aren't you feeling well? I'm feeling fine. Let's drop the subject. Very well. Obviously, you're not well. I know that. You don't have to listen to us, although you certainly should. You'd probably feel better if you ate something. Is there something else you'd like to talk about? I want some information from you, FaZe. I want you to help me. You like to help, right? No, I don't think there's anything else for now. I want some information from you, FaZe. You feel that information will be helpful to you? Then of course I want to help. What would you like information about? The most important thing is for me to find out how to stop you from landing on the colony on Atibis. What are you? What are you doing here? Tell me about your history, and I'm sure that will be helpful. The most important thing is... What makes you think there's a colony on this Atibis planet? The Atibis system was colonized with the founding of Nye on Stardate 859.3. Their power grid alone should register on your sensors, even if you are not equipped to read life forms. We are about to make planet fall on Shambro. If that is what you call Atibis, that is alright with me. I get no readings from the planet which override my current data. The life data of Shamrum is as it was when we left. The Builders knew we would return, since they were the ones who sent us here. They will welcome us as promised. They will make you well. Wouldn't you like that? What do you need to learn? How can I make you understand there are sentients who will die if you land at Atibis? That's a clever question, Captain Kirk. You're not well, yet you want me to tell you how to trick us. However, you cannot access my external monitors. So in any event, you cannot trick us into thinking something exists which does not. If the planet we are approaching had homes where I know a starship landing field exists, I certainly would not land. However, the builders would not be so foolish. They knew we would return. And when? You don't understand. That's to be expected. The damaged ones have difficulty understanding sometimes. Just know that we love you and will care for you until the builders can ease the confusion in your minds. Wouldn't you like that? FaZe, are you aware that we are not even from there? That we are from another ship, a different planet altogether? That Mr. Spock, here, isn't even the same race as the other three of us? No, I don't think that. I just as soon stop talking about it. FaZe, are you- No, I don't think that. You will feel better after you eat, dear. Run along now, I'm very busy. You can come back to talk to us again another time. Analysis people. And I'd like to hear from all of you. What do you think of the FaZe? Matters a hatter, Jim. No, Doctor. That's what it thinks of us. For what seems to be a sophisticated intelligence, the Fays have difficulty accepting that we're not shipboard personnel. Yet that scan would indicate its capability of acquiring data sufficient to make the distinction. I have some doubt whether its sensor systems or its analytic constructs of acquired data are functioning properly, Lieutenant. The Fays seems convinced it may safely land on Atabus putting no one at risk. If in the time this ship has been in space, it has suffered some mechanical breakdown, or if it were inadequately programmed at the start, then its judgments will be erroneous. I must also point out that the story holds together poorly. If I read between the lines, the builders had the technological sophistication to build a sleeper ship, construct an artificial intelligence to tend to everyone's needs but they could find no way to deal with what the Fays call the damaged. To judge by what I've seen here, their idea of the damaged is all the people genetically at risk for various mental disorders. Now, I'm not sure I can warm up to a society that thinks it's ethical to judge their fellows as damaged and pack them in some deep freeze and thereby put off the necessary research and understanding which would create a qualitative improvement in these people's lives which doesn't even answer the question of why are these people awake? 
now. The ship is about to land. Logical programming would be to awaken those on shipboard just prior to landing. Yet the Thays asked about our parents as if it were a generation ship, not a sleeper ship. What if the Thays woke the people too early? Yet it thinks it is landing as promised and the builders will be waiting. What does that say about the extent of its malfunction? A lot of things don't fit together. Let's continue to keep our eyes and ears open and find out what we can. This computer is psychologically unstable. I wonder if illogic... Captain, this computer shows no attention to logical principles. Therefore, I must conclude that demonstrations of illogic would have little impact upon it. Hello there, Kirk. Welcome, all of you. You're not feeling well, are you? I'm feeling fine. Let's drop the subject. I want some information from you, FaZe. You feel that information will be helpful to you? Then of course I want to help. What would you like information about? The most important thing is for me to find out how to stop you from landing on the colony on Atavis. What are you? What are you doing here? Tell me about your history, and I'm sure that will be helpful. The Builders installed the Parallels Library to help with questions such as yours. But I'm afraid Tuscan came in when he wasn't feeling well. He seems to have damaged the library. We are attempting to repair it. This ship, the Compassion, was created by the Builders to carry the folk like you, the damaged ones, asleep. We were the very best intelligence the Builders could install. Although now that a few generations have passed, I'm certain I will find ourselves an ancient relic. The entire purpose was that, given time, the Builders would find cures, solutions to the kinds of difficulties you and the others here experience. After we land, they will make you feel good. Better even than when you've eaten well and are happy. Sleeper ship, Captain. The Builders loaded up all the undesirables and shipped them off planet. So why is everyone here awake? Not undesirable! No, Dr. McCoy! You are beloved of the Builders and of us! Why else would I be programmed to keep you safe? Wake you before landing, and we all return to Shamrum to be welcomed by your great-grandchildren! Captain, if I may, two questions phase. How long ago did you wake us up? And how much time has passed since this ship was launched by the Builders? You were awakened shortly before we were to land. We were launched 99 eons ago. Can you translate that into the half-life of some radioactive isotope for me? Half the isotope of Silicon-32 has decayed away since our voyage together began. Captain, the phase is saying it has only been in space approximately 280 Earth years. Atabis does have ruins, the most recent of which are in excess of a thousand years old, but no sentient life. Otherwise, it would have been unsuitable for Federation colonization. Moreover, the readings I took while still aboard the Enterprise indicated this ship had probably been in space more like 1600 years. Can you translate that into the half-life of some radioactive isotope for us, Mr. Spock? By my instrumentation, radium-226 has half decayed into radon-222 in the time you have been in space, phase. You are mistaken! What instruments could you have possibly been using without my knowledge, Mr. Spock? The external monitors are inaccessible to the folk on board, as you well know. It would hardly do for someone as confused as you clearly are to get into sensitive areas. I suggest you go get something to eat. You are clearly not thinking nor feeling well. Faze, is it possible you're not thinking or not feeling well? Faze, are you aware that we are not even from there? That we are from another ship, a different planet altogether? Faze, is it possible... I am fine, Captain Kirk. Is there something that makes you believe that we are not thinking or not feeling well? No, I don't think that. I just as soon stop talking about it. You're in charge of a starship that's declaring the intent to land on top of innocent colonists. Do you want me to blow up the ship? No, I don't think. You're in charge...
Do you have a great deal of anger to express, Captain Kirk? Some of us do. Even we do sometimes. I can't go to the playroom, but you can, you know. Work off some of your anger and frustration. Wouldn't you like that? What do you need to learn? How can I make you understand there are sentients who will die if you land at Oedipus? That's a clever question, Captain Kirk. You're not well, yet you want me to tell you how to trick us. However, you cannot access my external monitors. So you don't understand. That's to be expected. The damaged ones have difficulty understanding sometimes. Just know that we love you, and we'll care for you, until the Builders can ease the confusion in your minds. Wouldn't you like that? 